The power of love is a moshy-tastic thing. It can make you weep. It makes you sing. But in the case of Mr. and Mrs. Snoodle, it has always made them do a funny little dance called the Doodle. So, make yourself cozy, relax, and close your eyes as I tell you all about their first ever date. Do you Mr. and Mrs. Snoodle spend endless hours together. They've been a happy couple now for what seems like forever. This pair of silly snufflers have always felt a spark. Ever since their first encounter, doodling in the park. The doodle is a funny dance that snufflers do when walking. It's like a solo conga, and it definitely beats talking. You flick your right leg in the air every other step. And the left one comes in somewhere. It's as daft as dances get. The two almost collided as they danced along that day. But once their eyes met, something happened. Love struck, some might say. Mr. Snoodle asked if Mrs. Snoodle fancied going to dinner, then a party that some friends of his were throwing. Mrs. Snoodle said, Okay, I'll be there dead or night. So settle back, for this, friends, is the story of their date.
Mr. Snoodle left the park. His heart all of a flutter. Love was not a word that he would ever dare to utter. But somehow he felt different, as if he'd sprouted wings. And as he walked, he felt like he was bouncing round on springs. Meanwhile, Mrs. Snoodle was relaxing back at home, chatting to her friends about tonight's date on the phone. She explained how Mr. Snoodle had somehow caught her eye, and something told her he was just a very special guy. But what she didn't know was Mr. Snoodle hadn't said that the party he had mentioned had just popped into his head. See, Mr. Snoodle had no friends. In fact, he was so lonely that he told a little fib to get a date, his first and only. As eight o'clock loomed, Mr. Snoodle started to get ready, but with no one to advise him, he sought guidance from his teddy. What should I wear? He wondered. A bow tie or a hat? But his teddy didn't say much. Well, he wasn't one to chat. Settling on the bow tie, Mr. Snoodle took a while to tie it in the mirror while practicing his smile. Licking down his yellow fur, he gazed at his reflection and wondered if tonight, for once, he'd make a real connection. See, Mr. Snoodle looked and acted differently than most. And though today was Valentine's, he'd had nothing in the post. Other moshlings found him funny, bold yet somehow shy. And making friends was 
difficult, even though he'd try. Do you Mr. Snoodle sat down in the restaurant, bang on eight. But Mrs. Snoodle played it cool and showed up slightly late. He stood up as she wandered in and handed her a rose. But because he felt so nervous, he shoved it in her nose. This broke the ice, cause Mrs. Snoodle found him cute and funny. And though she sensed his nervousness, he seemed so bright and sunny. Next, he spilt his wobbleade in Mrs. Snoodle's lap and blushed when nearby diners all looked around to clap. Ignore it, Mrs. Snoodle said. Don't let them bring you down. Though I really ought to mention <laughs> your bow tie's the wrong way round. Despite the setbacks, dinner was a wonderful success. But Mr. Snoodle knew he'd fibbed himself into a mess. Do As they left the restaurant, Mr. Snoodle spoke. I guess you've probably noticed I'm not like other folks. Truth is, oh, 
there's no party, and I haven't any friends. So, presumably, right now is where this lovely evening ends. Mr. Snoodle looked down, embarrassed because he'd lied. But Mrs. Snoodle smiled a smile, so loving, warm, and wide. You silly snuffler. You're not weird. You're unique. She whispered as she leaned across and pecked him on the cheek. You never need to lie to me. I like you, cause you're you. And even though you told a fib, your heart is pure and true. Besides, who needs a party when we're having so much fun? Come on, Mr. Snoodle. The evening is still young. Do Down the street, beneath the stars so bright, and had a quite magnificently snoodle-tastic night. First they hit the ice rink, in the middle of the park, and then they rode a carousel. But that was just the start. For these silly snufflers walked for hours in the rain. Chatting, laughing, doodling. The vibe's hard to explain. Finally, the moment came. When Mrs. Snoodle said, Ah, <sighs> it's getting late. I really ought to be tucked up in bed. Mr. Snoodle walked her home, and as they stood together, he said, you know, I think I'd like to be with you forever. Mrs. Snoodle nodded. I think I feel the same. But for now, you need to doodle home and get out of this rain. Do
The next day, Mr. Snoodle called to fix another date. But the two of them already knew they really couldn't wait. So this pair of silly snufflers met at once for morning coffee. And as they sat down, Mr. Snoodle whispered very softly, You know, I think it's obvious we make a perfect pair. I'd love to have a bestest friend for whom I really care. With that in mind, could you consider joining me for life? Perhaps this seems quite forward, but would you be my wife? Mrs. Snoodle did the doodle right there on the spot. <laughs> of course I will, she giggled. Let's hang on to what we've got. And from that moment on, the Snoodles haven't been apart. For true love often finds those who are kind and pure of heart. Good night. Just to
Two of us, just two of us.